Hello everybody. In this video, we will learn how to count significant figures. Before we learn how to count significant figures, we must understand the importance of significant figures. When it comes to science, uh, we need to know these numbers. Uh, they're important for multiple reasons. One is that they give us a very precise data. You know, when, when scientists collect the data, they need to know that how precise and accurate it is. And for that matter, we really need to know how to, how to calculate significant digits. So, and um, I think this is really a new topic to you, so I'll try to be a little slow on this. And as I am teaching, you can take note. Well, uh, there are different rules to calculate significant figures. The rule number one is that all digits, you know, from uh, zero to nine, one to nine are significant. So zero is not significant. But all digits from 1 to 9 are significant. So if I give you a number 4, it is significant. So if I ask you how many significant digits in 4, you say 1. If I ask you how many significant digits in 44, you know, you say 2. If I ask you how many digits in 4, 4, 0, so since 0 is not part of this, so 0 is not significant, so you will say still 2. So what I, my point is that any, any number, except zero is significant. So there are four significant digits, three, you know, four significant digits here, three significant digits here, four significant digits here. What is the second rule? The second rule is that the trailing zeros, you know, the zeros at the end of the number are only significant if there is a decimal point before it. So the trailing zero, like, you know, the number, the zero at the end of the number is not significant if I don't see a decimal point here. So I will say it's only two significant digits. But if this trailing zero or the zero at the end of the number has a decimal point before it, then I will count it. So it has three significant digits. Now this zero is between the digit and the decimal, so I will count it. And this zero is a trailing zero after the decimal point, so I will count it. So I'll count one, two, three, four. It's four significant digits. These zeros, I don't see any decimal point, so it's only one significant digit. I hope you understand. So if I have four, four, point zero, zero, it is four significant digits. I do count these zeros. If it is four, four, zero, zero, it's two significant digits because there is no decimal point. If it is zero point four, four, zero, zero, these zeros are trailing zeros, you know, at the end of the number, and they are after the decimal point, so I will count them. So it is still four significant digits. I'm not counting this zero because this is not a trailing zero, you know. Trailing zero means the zero at the end of the number. All right, so there are two rules so far. So again, this is a trailing zero without a decimal. So I will not count it like I didn't count these. So it's only two significant digits. All right, so there are two rules. The third rule is that the trap zeros, sandwich zeros, you know, the zeros between the digits, okay? I'm sorry, I was going to write sandwich anyway. The trap zeros or the sandwich zeros, the zeros that are between the numbers, you know, this is between the number, this is between the number, this is between the number. So the zeros that are between the numbers are trapped, they're always significant. So I got one, two, three, four. I have four significant digits here. Again, it is trapped or sandwiched between two numbers. So I have four significant digits here. I have three, and this is trapped as well. So I have one, two, three, four, five significant digits. And I have here four significant digits. Leading zeros. Zeros are never significant if they are at the in front of the number. So before the decimal, after the decimal, like I can have 0.34. You know, it is, uh, that zero is a leading zero, so I will not count it. I will not count this uh, uh, digit because it's a leading zero. So it's only two significant digits. These zeros are after the decimal point. You know, this like here, they're after the decimal point, but they're not the trailing zeros. You know, the decimal point theory only applies if there was a zero here. So these are not at the end of the number, they're in front of the number. So the leading zeros, the, the numbers, uh, the zeros that are in front of the number are never significant, regardless, they're before the decimal or after the decimal. 
So I'm not going to count any of these. It's only two significant digits. I'm not going to count any of these. It's only one significant digit. I'm not going to count these. It's only two significant digits. So the leading zeros are not significant. The trailing zeros without the decimal are not significant. They're only significant with the decimal. And the zeros are significant when they're between the numbers. But any number that is beside zero, you know, that is not zero, all those numbers are significant. So these are the rules to calculate significant figures. I would like you to practice it on the next page and the page after that, you know, which is, I believe, page number uh, 11, maybe. Uh, it is your homework. So, uh, but don't worry about it. I'll explain that in the class. Uh, right now, just let's only talk about significant figures. If uh, you still have any questions, please ask me in the class. Thank you. Bye-bye.